Welcome to week three, lesson 11. In this lesson, we will discuss mean, median, mode, and range. I am Ms. V. Richardson, and I will be your instructor for the course. Let's get ready for learning. Lesson 11, mean, median, mode, and range. First, we have the mean. You may have heard the mean referred to in class as the average. These two things mean the same thing. The mean is the average. So how do we find the mean or the average? We add up all of the numbers and divide by the amount of numbers that we have. Next, we have the median. Order the numbers from least to greatest, we find the middle number. So the median is that middle number. Now the median can be an average if I have two middle numbers. Next, I have the mode. The mode is the number or numbers that occur most often. The range is where we take the lowest number and subtract it from the highest number. That gives us a range. Question, in the chat, add which of these does your age represent? Would your age be a mean, a median, a mode or a range. Let's start this section by creating a graphic. What I would like for you to do is to take your notebook and to fold it into four. If you have the guided notes, this is already printed out for you, so you can just write your information in. We're going to use each section that we create to represent the different aspects that we are looking for in this data set. So we're going to start with the mean. The mean, if you remember, is when we add up all of the numbers and divide by the numbers that we have. So step number one, let's add up all of those numbers. We have one plus two plus two plus five plus six plus six plus nine and that equals a total of 31. Then step number two is we're going to divide by the total that we have. So we have 31 once we added all of those up and we're going to divide by the number that we have. So we have one two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers, we are gonna divide by seven. 31 divided by seven is approximately four and 43 hundredths. Let's continue with the median. Now remember, the median is once we have the numbers lined up in order from least to greatest, we find the number that is in the middle. Let's write our numbers out. One, two, two, five, six, six, nine, and they are in order from least to greatest. So now we just find that middle number. So we're gonna mark these out. That's the least, the greatest, the least, the greatest, the least, the greatest, our median is five. So our middle number is five. The mode means the numbers that we have the most often. So let's write out our numbers here and count to see how many of each number we have. One, we have that on our value. How many ones do we have? We only have one one. Our twos, how many twos do we have? Well, we can see here we have two twos. Okay, how many fives do we have? We have one five. How many sixes do we have? Two sixes. And how many nines do we have? One nine. So we can see here, these two numbers appear twice. These are the numbers that we see the most in this data set, two and six are the mode for this problem. Next, let's continue on with finding the range. Now, hopefully the question that you answered, what represented your age 
would be the range. The range is a good representation of your age because at this moment, you are the oldest that you've ever been. And when you subtract your starting, you started at zero. The largest number in this set is nine. We're going to subtract away our smallest number and our smallest number in this set is one. So nine minus one is eight and our range is eight. All right, let's do this. Here is a real world problem that you might have encountered throughout your schooling. Kevin took seven math tests in one marking period, which is the greatest value. So what are they asking for if they're asking us the greatest value? Well, remember vocabulary, our greatest value is called our maximum. And the greatest value in this situation would be 94. So our greatest value is 94. Can we find Kevin's average, which is also known as the mean? Can we find the median? the mode and the range. We absolutely can, so let's do this. We have 89 plus 73 plus 84 plus 91 plus 87 plus 77 and lastly 94. So those are all of the test scores and we're gonna add those together and that gives us a total of 595. Okay, so the next step is to see how many tests Kevin took. And we know from the problem, it says he took seven math tests. So we are going to take 595 and divide that by seven. And that average is 85. All right, now let's continue to find the median. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write our numbers in order from least to greatest. And that is 73, 77, 84, 87, 89, 91, and 94. Now that we have those written from least to greatest, we know that we just mark them off and find the one in the middle. Mark the lowest, then the highest, then the lowest, then the highest, then the lowest, then the highest, so we can see here 87 is that one in the middle. Next, we have the mode. So if we look at all of the numbers here, we can see all of the numbers only appear one time. All numbers appear only once, no mode. Lastly, we have the range and we're looking for the largest value minus the smallest value. And our minimum or our smallest value is 73. So we just take that 94, which is our largest, and we subtract 73, which is our smallest, and that gives us a range of 21. Now I would like you to pause the video here and I want you to try this check for understanding. The problem says, do you remember how to find the median? Hopefully you remember that we need to make sure our numbers are lined up from least to greatest and that the median is that middle number. Now that middle number can be an average if we have to add more than one number together. So what is the median price of the watches in dollars? We were given several different prices, so let's start by writing them in order from least to greatest. 12, 15, two 16s. We have 20, 22, 24, 27. All right, so let's see if we can find the median now. The smallest, largest, smallest, largest, smallest, largest. And here we see that we have two numbers in the middle. So whenever we have that situation, we have to find the average or the mean. So remember the mean means we need to add those two together, 16 plus 20, and that gives us a total of 36. Then we need to take that and divide that by two. Well, why are we dividing by two? Because we have two numbers that we were adding together. 
So 36 divided by two is equal to eight. So the median price of the watches is $18. To help you learn this lesson, I have prepared guided notes to help you organize your thoughts in this lesson. This lesson is a part of a larger unit available at kepcurriculum.com. Each course contains video lessons, guided notes, practice activities, and assessments to help you learn and remember the material. With the course, you can reinforce your knowledge and ensure a deeper understanding of the content. It's easy to print the guided notes and use for those offline study sessions. I am Ms. V. Richardson, and I want to say thank you for watching this lesson using guided notes. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a family member at kepcurriculum.com. Happy learning. And don't forget, if you want to extend your learning, here are some additional videos that you can tune into.